What's going on, everybody? Welcome into another game day update. I'm Kelsey, and this is Lang Whitaker. Lang, thanks for being here today. You ready for the second time to take on the Portland Trailblazers in five days? Yeah, it almost feels like we're in the middle of like a playoff series or something, right? Like we, we can't get rid of the Trailblazers that easily. Yeah, and so the Grizzlies came out on top uh, five days ago, I guess, 113 to 103. It was a big second half comeback. Um, it was great. And now the Blazers are here at FedEx Forum today at five o'clock. It's an early tip for Sunday game. Uh, if you look at the record of the Blazers, they are one and 11 when they play away. So it's good news for the Grizzlies. Yeah. But we do have a whole bunch of injuries to go through. So Lang, let's kick it off with the injury report. Yeah. The, so the latest I've, I've got is uh, out. Continue to be Santi Aldama with calf soreness, Brandon Clark, right knee soreness, Sam Merrill, left ankle sprain. Um, the only changes here are Zaire Williams still has a left ankle sprain. He has also been added to the health and safety protocols. Uh, from what I understand, he did not go on the West Coast trip. So he he was here in Memphis. This isn't something he, he brought back. This is uh, just an addition to the list. Uh, and the other change is John Morant still listed out with a left knee sprain, but he is off the health and safety protocol list. So it seems like Jai is one step closer to being back out there on the court. Perfect. And um, in the last like game day update we did when it was an away game with Portland, we were like, oh, like it's always Jaw versus Dame. We're still not going to yeah. do that. But I think the key to the game tonight still will be containing Damian Lillard. Yeah. I mean, that was when the Blazers made their run in the second half of that game five days ago was when Dame kind of got hot in the third quarter. Um, you know, the Grizzlies, I think, had a 17-point lead in the first half, and and uh, the Blazers eventually got it to a 10-point lead in the third quarter. And then the fourth quarter, the Grizzlies uh, scored 33 points and, and really kind of turned it on. And um, this is a Blazers team that uh, the last week or two has had some trouble in the fourth quarters. You know, they're still down a couple players, including C.J. McCollum. Um, and, and so I think this Grizzlies team, they, they've got a chance. You know, I, I thought we really saw, especially toward the end of the first quarter and the end of the third quarter, when the Grizzlies bench units came in and they really kind of wreaked some havoc, made a lot of steals, got the game in their, in their tempo and their favor and all that. And that, that kind of really changed the game to me. And I, I think that's what I'm kind of looking for today to see that, that bench unit come in and see what they can do against the, the Blazers bench. Absolutely. And the bench, we've talked about it just being so deep, like, I don't have the stat on me right now, but they were leading in something. And I know, I know what they were leading in. But the stat that I do have is over the last 11 games where the, the Grizzlies didn't have jaw, they are first in defensive rating, first in steals per game, rebounds per game, and blocks per game. The Blazers, bottom third of the league in all of those. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the Grizzlies, this is a team that, of course, the start of the year, they were uh, dead last in, in defensive rating, 30th. Mm -hmm. And the last month or so, they, they've been number one in the league in defensive rating. And, and it's funny what, a change that makes I mean, we saw it in that Portland game five days ago when, when that unit, the bench guys came in, you know, they, they were uh, getting deflections, uh, points off turnovers, all that stuff. And, and that's kind of when the, the floodgates open and it happened twice in the first half and the second half. So that leads me to believe it wasn't just a one-off thing and, and hopefully they can uh, kind of turn things in their favor again tonight. All right. Like I said, the game tips off at five o'clock tonight. You can come hang out with Lang and I at FedEx Forum. You can get the tickets at 901. 888 hoop you can watch on tv valley sports southeast or listen on the radio at nine oh my gosh 92 9 espn radio